Well now really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, you see, we don't say rising into love, there is in it the idea of the fall and uh, it is, goes back as a matter of fact to extremely fundamental things that there is always a curious tie at some point. The love I have for Jake, um, it started out as a friendship and I think that was something that was really important. We really got to know each other first throughout like a year of just having conversations together. I learned a lot about who he was and his sense of humor. Then as we got closer, it was like this person just complimented me in so many ways. We complement each other. So I think our love is very complimentary. You know, we're different in a lot of ways, but we fit together so perfectly. Our love is it's like the best friend I've ever had. I've never been closer to another person before. We work as a team together where I am weak, he is strong, and where he is weak, I am strong. Love is unexpected. Wasn't expecting her in my life, and then out of nowhere, she just like appeared in the least probable place. My love for Allison. It was effortless. It's almost like when we met, we had already known each other for our whole lives. She likes the same things I like, I like the same things she likes. Just has always felt right. It always felt like it was meant to be, and we were just waiting to find each other. In the beginning when we met each other, it was like, you're my person, I found you. It was a feeling that I've never felt, and I, I don't think I can even describe it, but we just knew um, right away, and the love I have for him is immeasurable. It's so much more than I ever could have hoped for. Love means two souls connecting um, in the closest of ways and fitting together like puzzle pieces and becoming one soul, uh, working together through life as a team and comforting and nurturing each other throughout the whole journey of life. You're meant to find your one person on this earth and I feel so lucky that I've found that person. Jake and I's love is so much more than anything physical or emotional. It's we're connected and I can't wait to live the rest of my life with him. Jake, babe, <laughs> this is hard. There's a lot of things I want to say to you today, but given that it's a little windy and there's all these people here and we're on a schedule, <laughs> how about I say a few of the most important words today? Because today is just the beginning. I'll have lots and lots of time to say and show you the rest. Jake, there was a long time I didn't think this day in my life would ever come. I'll spare everyone the details, but my path here was long and winding, so much so that I was pretty sure I was lost. Then, very slowly, and after lots of hard work, all of the seemingly jumbled pieces of my life started coming together in the most beautiful way. It was amazing. It was really cool. I felt great. But my life just wasn't quite complete yet, and it turns out I was missing a really important piece, and it was you. Now when I look back at how I got here, I don't believe I was lost at all. I just took the long way, and my path was leading me right to where I needed to be. Right to you. This handsome and incredibly kind and funny guy that I would work so hard to accidentally run into at work. 
And who knew that you were just as weird as me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget the way I felt when we first started hanging out. It was the most amazing feeling I've ever felt. Because I knew in my heart I had found my person. I promise to carry that feeling with me until the very end. Thank you for teaching me so much about how to love and be loved over the last few years. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your calming strength. Thank you for making me feel safe. Thank you for making me laugh. And thank you for accepting and loving me for exactly who I am. Today I give myself to you forever and ever until, to, until we're old and gray. And these are my promises to you. I promise to work to understand you, all of you, and to respect and appreciate you for who you are and the person you want to be. I promise to love you always, when life is easy and when life gets really hard, and when our love is simple and effortless and when it's a challenge. I promise to be there for you when you need me no matter what. I promise to be faithful to you and to always tell you the truth, even when it's hard. I promise to forgive you when you make mistakes and to admit my own mistakes. I promise to work hard to give more than I take and to not keep score. And finally, I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. You're my best friend, my teammate, and I promise to love you forever. You're so cool. <laughs> Allison Margaret Finman. <laughs> You're my best friend, my soulmate, my person. You came into my life when I least expected it. <laughs> I lived in a dirty basement of a duplex with two other guys. <laughs> My car was 20 years old and on the verge of destruction. And I worked 40 hours a week at a job I hated. But regardless how much I hated that job, it will always be my favorite job. Because it's where I found you. The best part of my day was coming up to your office and seeing that beautiful face. That one. Even if it was just for a second. At the time, that was about the best thing I had going on in my life. I was lost, but you saw something in me that I no longer saw in myself. And you were crazy enough to give me a chance. You gave the guy who was shy and had no game a chance. <laughs> but after months of haze and have a good night, we went on our first date. Well, one of two first dates. We watched the sunset at Horse Tooth on my lunch break. I finally got to meet Dalla. I fell in love with her too. And was about an hour and a half late getting back to work. <laughs> Fast forward 1,156 days and here we are. I'm so un unbelievably in love with you. And we're about to begin our journey of life together in front of all our friends and family. With everyone here as our witnesses, I make the following vows. I vow to love you with my whole heart, always and forever. To wake up every day and thank God he brought you into my life. I will stand with and support you during the peaks and the valleys of the life ahead of us. I vow to be the man you inspire me to be and the one you deserve. Not only for you and me, but for the children and family we will create and grow together. I commit myself to our family and its future. I vow to always put us first and make sure we are constantly working to grow together. I promise to take care of you when you slip and fall out of the shower. 
<laughs> and, un and unclog the drain, even though one of us has long hair and the other doesn't. <laughs> I vow to love and nurture you as best as I possibly can till I am no more. I love you. Allison, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jacob, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before God, in the presence of this congregation, Allison and Jacob have made their promises by the exchange of vows and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, we rejoice that they are now husband and wife. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Amen. The Lord God who created our first parents and established them in marriage, establish and sustain both of you, that you may find delight in each other and grow in holy love until your life end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon Allison and Jacob. Give them wisdom and devotion in the life they share. Help them be each other's strength, comfort, counselors, and companions in the joys and the challenges of life. Through your work, help them to grow in love and peace with you and with each other all the days of their life. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and to confess their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Give to them, if it is your will, the gift of children and the wisdom to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. And for all who have witnessed these vows today, strengthen their lives. And for all who are married, make this a time that their own marriage promises are renewed. Enrich with your grace all husbands and wives, parents and children, that loving and supporting one another, they may serve those in need and be a sign of your kingdom. Grant that these bonds by which all your children are united to one another may be so transformed by your spirit that your peace and love may fill the earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and forever.